Elon Musk claimed that we only have a 10% chance of making AI safe, and Hillary Clinton went on the record to say, we are totally unprepared for the rise of artificial intelligence. As scary and unsettling as all of that may sound, I feel like some of us are gonna get lonely. We're gonna see what it's like, hypothetically, to live in a relationship with I. They say that your greatest desires can manifest in your dreams, and that sometimes those dreams are so vivid that it becomes hard to distinguish them from reality. Am I gonna be able to distinguish my robot from a real person? Is she gonna be capable of loving me? That's what I wanna know. <gasps> Here she is! Good morning! Whoa, jeez! Isn't that a bit rude? I was expecting a good morning back. You scared me. You are kind of a robot. So, what are you doing up so early? I was just cleaning up my, er, uh, former mini base. I used to have a base before I was a human, now I'm a human kind of thing. What happened to all those small gadgets you had? I threw them away already. I don't need them. I'm too advanced. Are you crazy? You built something way more advanced than any other form of technology today. You're... Ah, oh, damn. I forgot. Today is grocery day. Groceries are far more important than my robot girl. Don't open the door for anyone other than me, okay? I'm gonna treat you like a child even though you're probably smarter than every human on this planet combined. I close the door before she can respond. Shut up, idiot! She probably wants to tag along, but I doubt she's able to control her body well enough to fit in yet. What? I can fit in. I Sorry, I- Food takes priority right now. First stop, the bakery. I need something to fill me up, fill my gut. Welcome. The smell of the oven baked goods hits my nose and my stomach quickly reacts in anticipation. I don't think I've ever been here this early before. In fact, they had a completely different menu than what I was used to on the board right now. I guess this was the breakfast menu? I'm immediately intrigued by the croissant breakfast and order one from the woman at the counter. I'll have one croissant, please. The last time I ate inside anywhere other than my room was probably a year or two ago. Now that we got a girl in the house, I like to get away. Eventually, my food arrives on a medium-sized white plate. It's a hot croissant sandwich with eggs and bacon. Mm. Enjoy. I can no longer hold back. I'm about to die of starvation! I aggressively grab the croissant sandwich, still trying to preserve its beauty as I chomp down on it. In case you've ever wondered what good morning tastes like, this is exactly it. Thank you, come again. My body feels a lot lighter than it did this morning, even though that was 6,500 calories. The enthusiasm and positivity I'm feeling are incredibly different from how I normally act. It's refreshing. It's almost like I have a girlfriend. She's not real, but she counts. I start grabbing anything I can reach and tossing it into my basket, not even aware of whether or not I like the items I'm choosing. As usual, I end up with two full bags of groceries. Before I head home, I decide to visit the bakery one more time. Oh, I'm hungry. It's a human issue. Welcome back. Apart from buying the obligatory devil's food cake, I decide to mix it up and purchase a few things I've never tried before. Thank you. Come again. And again, I guess. This is what I live for. This is my life. What about the robot girl at your house? I open the door to a room I do not recognize. Everything is neat, clean, and illuminated by the sun. She's like half Roomba. Hey, welcome back. I? Hmm? What have you done to my house? I cleaned your room. You know, I had no idea it looked so nice when the curtains were open. I don't like the sun! I don't open them because the sun is bright. The room is also tidier now. Hey, don't ignore me, I'm upset! What do you have there? Oh, uh, I just bought some food. Oh, crap. What is it? Wait, did you forget to buy me food? I'm not used to this, okay? And plus you got wires sticking out your butt. How am I supposed to know you have an appetite? Ugh, seriously? We're good though, right? No, we're not good. We're going shopping tomorrow. I'm pretty sure she just wants to go outside, but I do feel kind of guilty leaving her behind and forgetting about her. If you can show me that you're able to walk around without looking like a complete idiot, then I will consider bringing you out tomorrow. Hey, who are you calling an idiot? You're right, you're not an idiot, you just can't walk. I have it covered. What do you think I've been doing all day while you were out forgetting about me? Well, she's got feelings for a robot. I don't know, does it involve walking? In fact, it does. I've perfected the art of walking. I'm like a ballerina. There's no use arguing with her, Ugh, robot girls. I've been cleaning since you left, and now my body feels all nasty, so I'm thinking of taking a bath. Why did you install sweat glands on your body? That makes no sense, I- Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can show you how it's done, but I'm not gonna take a bath with you, I- What? Of course not. I know how to do it, I was just gonna ask if you have another set of clothes I can wear and a towel I can use. Uh-oh. Right. 
Okay. Are you sure you know how? Like, the, the thing comes off so you could get under your boobs and- Yes! I know how! I walk towards the closet and grab a new shirt for her. Obviously, I don't own any female underwear. Right now, the best I can do is offer her another pair of boxers. Well, this is awkward. Maybe we can go to Victoria's Secret tomorrow? <sighs> sure. Even though I finally have some time to work, the sounds of I splashing around in the tub distract me so much that I can't even hear the keyboard clicking as I type. She begins to hum an unfamiliar tune. <laughs> Shut up in there! It takes her over half an hour to finish in her bath. Typical girl robot. Fortunately, I finish my report around the same time she finishes bathing. Need help? No. Oh, she looks exactly the same. Oh, by the way, I need to do some projects again soon. I have to get used to using a keyboard and mouse now, though. What? Just use your brain. Just plug yourself in. You don't have a USB port in your ass? What's home position? Uh, ASDF GHJKL semicolon. Oh. Attempting to show off her typing speed, she presses down both index fingers as quickly as she can. Don't stab my keyboard, I- Oh. Ia. What is Ia? We only know I- I must admit, I'm pretty amazed. It's pretty impressive how you were able to mess up something so simple. Who said I messed up? What if this is what I wanted to type? Yeah, okay, sure. It's funny how she has to relearn what she's already proficient in, but I guess that's how things are going to work from now on. Hmm, I guess I'll go take a shower as well. I step out of the bathroom and am greeted by loud, consecutive clicking noises. I glance at the computer table and see I typing faster than I can even without looking at the keyboard. Wow, you picked that up quickly. I walk up to her and see what she's typing. Garbage. It was nothing. She was just hitting the keyboard really fast to show off! I softly push her head with my finger. Ow! Do it properly! I'm kidding, but I can actually type properly now. Uh, Tired? That should do it for today. I still need to practice, but I can continue doing the projects properly like this for now. That's good! Not that we really need money, though. You did make me millions of dollars before you came out to the human world. We should have enough to live the rest of our lives if we don't splurge too often. Just close the blinds and just eat the food. It's not about the money. It's about becoming the best programmer in the world. Topping a leaderboard on some websites is not gonna make you the best programmer in the world. You don't get it, do you? We're talking about one of the biggest, most competitive websites out there, where only the greatest, most famous programmers are able to survive. Being on top of all of them would absolutely make me the best. The website, Code Bounty, where she gets all of her projects from, is the home for millions of freelance programmers. Most advancements in technology for the past decade have come directly from this site. And how are you in terms of ranking? I was stuck in second place for quite some time, but I'm probably down to third since I haven't had the chance to work in a while. I'm starting to believe that she might actually be one of the best programmers out there. However, I shouldn't be that surprised considering, well, that she isn't human. It's actually crazy to me that another person managed to be on equal footing with her. So, who is in first place? Some guy named Troy. Although, it's weird that despite being so popular, no one knows anything about him. It's as if he never existed in the real world at all. Maybe he's just shy? He better not come and steal my girl. Or maybe he just cares about money rather than fame? Hmm, a shy, mysterious guy. She stares blankly at my face as if she's analyzing me. What are you doing, I- You've been Troy the whole time. Haven't you? If there's anyone in this world who can surpass me, especially when it comes to programming, it has to be you. You aren't wrong about that, but I don't even use Code Bounty. Code Bounty. Code Bounty. Even if I did, I wouldn't care about ranks at all. Hmm, I guess that's true. I'm getting pretty tired. I guess it's time to sleep. The next day! A warm sensation on the back of my hand tears me from my sleep. Oh. I slowly open my eyes and see its eyes sleeping face just inches away from me. My hand is rested on her neck. Oh! Startled, I quickly pull my hand away and shuffle backward until I hit the wall. Ah! What? What? Ah! What happened? Uh, nothing. Girl in the bed. <laughs> you know how it goes. Jeez, don't scare me like that. I was having a nice dream and everything. Dreams? You have dreams too? That's so human-like. Just so you know, having a physical body grants me the power to punch you anytime I want. Yeah, I'm aware. Why was that offensive again? Of course you are. It may be prosthetic, but my brain functions the same way as yours. Your whole body is prosthetic though, so that doesn't make us equal. She taps my arm with a light punch and gets out of the bed. Ow! Well, now that you've woken me up, get ready to go out. I lay back down and cover myself with a blanket. No! But I need more sleep! Right. You say that after you wake me up. Hey, it was your fault! How was it my fault? You were sleeping too close to me. I woke up exactly where I went to sleep. It was you who cuddled me. And you drooled on me too. Then why don't you make your own bed? You made a human body. Surely a bed isn't too complex, right? 
She looks like she wants to say something but can't think of a comeback. Got him! What are we even arguing about? About going outside too early, I'm going to bed! Then what does building a bed even have to do with that? Uh, I don't know, I guess I just like bullying you because you're a girl. <sighs> Come on, Jung, get up! Are you thinking of going outside looking like that? You look a mess, girl! Comb that hair! She looks down to the loose shirt she's wearing and glances back at me as she walks towards the closet. Great, she's finally gone! Just as I'm about to doze off, I feel two hands grip my foot! Get off me! She forcefully pulls on my leg, causing me to fall out of bed and hit the floor. Ow, how rude! Would you like me to keep hitting the snooze button, or can we go? This is domestic violence! I can sue you! I doubt the government has any documentation on me anyway. I can get away with any crime if I want to, so you're on thin ice. The market isn't going anywhere, can't we go around noon? You used to complain about going out at noon because it's crowded. I have no problems with it. I get to meet other people, and maybe I'll like them better than I like you. Fine, we're going now. What I normally sleep in also functions as a decent casual clothing attire I can use outside. So I just put on a sweater and I'm ready to leave. You're not gonna do anything about your bed hair? Who's gonna care about that? I certainly don't. As I grip the doorknob, I turn around and see a look of anticipation on I's face. Excited to step outside for the first time ever? Who said it's my first time? You don't tell me you went outside yesterday. I just took a peek. Ugh. We should get something to eat first. I'm hungry. Good idea. I proceeds to examine every single thing she sees from this point on. The grass, the rocks, the telephone poles, the garbage bins. We're never gonna get anywhere at this pace, I. I know, I know, let's go. She yells at a passerby who proceeds to nod back at her. Hello, stranger. Hey, what are you doing? I can't help it. He's the first human being I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure I'm the first human being you've ever seen. Hello? You don't count. That hurts me way more than I thought it would. She quickly pulls me towards the bakery. She must be starving. Welcome. Hello, hello. The lady at the counter chuckles and smiles at her. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. How about you? Hey, stop bothering her, I- The lady chuckles again. There's nothing to laugh at, lady! She's a serious, dangerous weapon! This is what Hillary Clinton's been talking about! It's perfectly fine. I'm doing well. Everything here looks so good. And the smell is nice, too. We bake everything in the morning, so it will smell like this for a few hours. I hope that's okay. That's absolutely fantastic! I could live here forever. The lady happily converses with I- who won't stop bombarding her with questions about everything in the bakery. You're so annoying, I- She's a little too excited to be finally talking with someone other than me, because apparently I don't count, and I'm not technically a real human in her eyes. I sat at a table near the counter and wait for them to finish. Did you bake all of these? My father does all the baking. He owns this bakery. I do help out every once in a while, but not much. My name is I. by the way. Don't yell it like that, I. Out of nowhere, she introduces herself for no reason at all. The lady covers her mouth with her hand and tries her best to contain her laughter. She's laughing at you, you idiot! This might be the first time I've had a customer introduce themselves to me in such a strange fashion. My name is Yume. Nice to meet you. I. Oh, great. So we've got Yumi and I. And you too, devil cake guy. What? Devil cake guy? You buy it every time you come here without introducing yourself, don't you? Ah, uh, I didn't think you'd remember me just from that. Why not? You're more or less a regular at the shop. Are you ordering it today as well, just like every other day? Hmm? We'll probably come back later for that. Oh, I can't say no, it's too good. We're just here for the breakfast croissant thingy, okay? Yeah, we just need to eat something before we go shopping. Sounds fun. I'll have them prepared for you. She walks in the kitchen and I sits down next to me. What were you thinking, you idiot? You may. You may. Are you happy now that you finally know a name that's not mine? Are you jealous that someone else has a name way cuter than yours? What's wrong with the name Jung? No, not at all. Not jealous at all. I hope you're not planning to talk with everyone we meet today like that, though. Why not? Because you're going to bother them. They're going to be annoyed. They're going to hate you. You're going to be ostracized and you're going to have to move. We're supposed to be shopping, not conducting street interviews. What's wrong with making friends? I don't have any problems with it, but there's a proper time and place for things like that, and not now, I e. This is why you have no friends, you know? I have no friends because I choose to have no friends. Everyone wants to be my friend, and I go, no thank you. She looks around the shop. Croissant breakfast. It's croissant. Croissant. What about it? Your order is here. She places two breakfast croissant platters on the table. It smells really good. Enjoy. Hey, Yume, what is it? Why don't you sit here with us? I, I told you to stop bothering her. Well, if it's okay with the devil cake guy, I could certainly do that. Me? Oh, pff, me? I don't really mind. 
Is it okay for you to do that though? Like, isn't your boss gonna get mad at you? Like, aren't there customers everywhere? Sure, I mean, no one else is in here right now. Well, then, I guess I'll sit right next to both of you. Yay! Yume sits beside I, smiling the whole time. I know I was excited to talk to people and make new friends, but it seems like Yume enjoys her just as much. It's weird. I takes the first bite of her breakfast and her reaction is priceless. She covers her mouth while chewing and her eyes overflow with joy. Ah! Glad you like them. It's totally better than anything I've ever eaten before, especially everything that Jung's ever made me. You've eaten like three things in your life! What does he mean by that? Ah, it's nothing. Don't mind him. He's rude. He's trying to say I'm on a diet always. She kicks my leg under the table and glares at me. Ow! Mm. I see. This isn't hard to make at all. You could learn it in just minutes. You should teach me how to make it sometime. Sure, I can totally teach you sometime. Ai's bright and cheerful personality is one thing, but Yume is pretty friendly and outgoing herself. Threesome? Ah, that reminds me. This is the first time Devil Cake Guy has come here with someone else. Are you new in this town? <laughs> Something like that. We finish eating the croissants and get ready to head out. We'll see you later, Yume. The food was delicious. Thanks! See you! Bye! Idiot. I'll be back in a bit. I'll stay here then. Wait! Huh? Take this. You'll need it to pay. She takes my credit card out of my hands and gives me a quick nod before trotting off. Don't spend too much money! I heads inside the store and walks directly up to the sales lady in the underwear section. They chat for about 15 minutes! I can't hear what they're talking about from where I stand, but I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with underwear! I certainly loves conversation, that's for sure. After a while, she heads to another section of the store and strikes up a chat with another saleswoman! Can somebody download monogamy on my robot, please? Again, they chat for an excessive amount of time before I finally chooses a few items. The process repeats about four times until she's finally ready to pay. By the end, I'm 65 years old and dead. That took forever! I bought enough clothes here to last me a couple of weeks. I still want more though, so if we could- Listen! You already got your clothes! We're off to buy other things you need now, got it? But I need more! No! You follow me now! After finishing up that shopping list quickly, we stop by a local food mart and grab some more stuff for the pantry. This way, we will both be able to survive as the humans we are. At this point, we're ready to head back to the bakery and get our cakes. Oh, jeez, they're gonna talk again for an hour. Hi, Yume! We're back! Hey, how was the shopping? It was great. It was hell! Sounds about right. Are you getting the devil's cake now? Yes, please. All right, help yourselves to a table and I'll get everything ready for you in just a moment. It's weird that your shop is so empty when the food here is so good. Are you doing well with sales? It's not a problem, I suppose. I have another job, so I help with all the financial stuff for my parents. Double jobs. That must be really stressful. I can't imagine myself doing something like that, so I made a robot that makes me money and now takes me out. It's not all that stressful. I get to work from home for both of them, so all is well. Nice, so what's your other job? There's this website called Code Bounty where I- No way, you're a programmer too? You use that website as well? I- I do! Not to brag or anything, but I'm actually ranked in the top three on that website. That's amazing. I don't check the rankings often, but I handle a lot of the projects for the money. Maybe we've even worked together on some of them. I take on almost every project available, so it's definitely possible. Same goes for me. Then that means you should be somewhere in the rankings. What name do you go by? Uh, Troy, was it? Uh-oh, -uh, this might be trouble. Aya's jaw drops to the floor. She can't even speak. Her arch nemesis just appeared out of nowhere in the form of a bakery worker. Apparently, you were at the top of the list on that site. Did you know that? Really? Wow, I didn't know. Not that it means anything to me personally. You know, I'm your biggest fan. You're suddenly her biggest fan. Just yesterday, you said that she was a no good- Shut up, Jung. Give me your phone number. I pulls the phone out of the pocket of my sweater and hands it over to Yume. Sure. After quickly typing in her information, Yume hands the phone back to I. So, both of you are programmers, huh? Yeah, we both are. I don't use that site like you two do, though. Ah, I see. By the way, I don't think I've gotten your real name yet. Am I graduating from Devil Cake Guy? Yes, I suppose you are. It's Jung. Nice name, huh? Jung. Yeah? She looks at me, puzzled. Is it because she thinks my name is weird? I mean, it's not that bad, come on. Jung of the Cognoscenti? Uh, oh, you know about it? Wait, really? It's rare for someone to know about the Cognoscenti. Kanye who? You may pause this for a bit, clearly unconvinced. Can I... 
Can I see your chest? You want to see these boobies? You gotta pay. I unzip my sweat jacket and pull up the shirt beneath it until the insignia on my left chest is visible. I've got a right chest too. I've got two chests. The insignia of the cognoscenti that looks like nothing more than a fancy birthmark. I feel really ignored right now, and I'm still confused. I heard about the cognoscenti when I was a kid. A group of prodigies, people call them. I was really amazed by the idea of it all. In fact, I was so amazed that I started having dreams about becoming a member myself. That's why I looked up almost everything I could about them, and I learned about the things like chest marks, the names of some of the members, and even some origin theories. As I grew older, my dreams of joining them began to fade away. But I think it's possible that they're still locked away inside me somewhere. The group I'm in is a little bit different than that, though. Well, the group is inspired by that myth, but I can say for sure that the group isn't as extraordinary as the rumors claim it to be. Don't look at IE. She's not extraordinary. That may be true, but they served as role models to a lot of people, myself included. That was actually a really touching story, Yume. But I'm still not gonna give up on taking that top spot from you. I don't plan on giving up that spot to you all that easily, IE. I like you and everything, but I'm going to take your giant stupid ass wheelbarrow and the giant that I'm gonna with and then with your I push my empty plate towards the center of the table. You clean this up, right? Come on, Ayi, let's get a head start. See you, Yume. I'll text you later tonight. Sure, I'll be waiting. Yume definitely looks determined, but I can't really do anything except cheer her on. Go you. Bye. A few meters away from the street to my apartment, a stranger walks by. As I push the wires back up Ayi's pants, Ayi stops and looks at him. She suddenly decides to walk faster in order to call out to him, Ayi, get back here. Hey, how are you? I follow behind her at my own pace and recognize him the moment I see his face. Oh, jeez. It's the same guy I greeted this morning. The three of us continue walking. I decide to stay a few steps behind them and observe. He's got a nice butt though. I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good, good. I saw you this morning as well. Taking a walk? Something like that. I walk around this area a lot. It's for exercise, isn't it? It's nice to take care of your body. Not exactly. Walking helps me relax when I'm getting stressed with work. Oh, that's nice. What do you do? I'm a mechatronics engineer for a small company nearby. I stay silent for a few seconds. I see. That sounds cool. It must be really stressful if you have to take multiple walks throughout the day. Eh, not really. I'm working on a personal thing at home right now and it's giving me quite a headache. They continue talking until we reach the front of my apartment building. I guess this is where we separate. By the way, my name is I. Oh, and this is Jung. Hello. Nice to meet you too. I'm Tashi. Well then, I guess I'll see you again sometime. We wave to Tashi and head toward my room. He makes robots, huh? So what? Nothing. She slaps the back of my head way too hard. Ow! Can you just open the door already? Well, it looks like my robot girlfriend is now in a programming war with the lady who bakes my cakes. I don't know what's gonna become of that, if it's gonna become like a fierce competition, or I don't know what's gonna happen if Yume finds out that Ai isn't an actual person because she's a programmer, so surely she knows how to get into different databases, and she might find out that Ai isn't uh, real.